Hey lads, it's day 237 of my series to get to 2k on chess.com. Absolutely thrilled to have beaten my first titled player yesterday. So if you didn't see that video, do check it out. But today we're at 1765 and I do have a cold, so I may be coughing and sniffing a wee bit, but I'll try not to. Let's see who we're playing today. <laughs> 1789 from Brazil and I will try to play my uh, Jabava although he's going for a Dutch and I know the regular London is very good against the Dutch but let's see what we can do here um Yeah, he's doing a Dutch. And he's doing this uh, kind of advanced variation, which is supposed to be very good. Um, I'm okay with, with doubling here. This guy clearly knows what he's doing. He's playing the Dutch, you know. This uh, knight is pinned right now. Um... I can go here and put the bishop on the long diagonal. I think I will. I don't know if I'm blocking my bishop in, though. I do need to be a bit careful. Because, like, if he's able to get these moves in, I could be in a little bit of trouble. So he's going to bring his queen over, I think. So he's looking to play this. So here, I take, take, take. So we're fine. He can't play this. Maybe I come here. I think this move's okay. Because I'm threatening this and this. So he's probably going to take my bishop. <laughs> and he just fell for it. <laughs> Poor guy. He is struggling, lads. He's struggling. We just took him completely apart. We can even capture here. Can't now. Okay, I'm going to slow down because I have a completely winning position. So we can't go to these squares because of the queen. We just want to watch out for like any sneaky checkmates. But feeling pretty okay here i could come here and then he's probably going to play this then we have this square so let's look at that okay and he fell for it he is falling apart he doesn't like knights Honestly, this game is a bit, uh, bit simple. His position fell completely apart. So I could go here. And I don't really need to do anything. Let's, uh, let's try get my queen. Somewhere central. What about this move? This looks like a very good move. He has to go back. I'm expecting a resignation here. Um, 
We'll see, but nothing yet. I just try to trade off his pieces. Um, what's the easiest way to do this? I'd like to trade this off and then come in here with a check. Um, let's do this. I'm expecting this move. And then we can check here. Okay. So now we have this check. But this check he has this. We take the we take the knight. want to take here <clears throat> but the knight's defending it um i could check here and he takes me i don't really have anything i can play this forwards he takes that i'm protecting here um, I don't know. Um, I feel like my queen is not in a great square here. If I just push here. Could push here and then go here and try to take this pawn with a check. So here he goes here. Doesn't worry me. Here he goes here and then here. Maybe we pull back and look for this check. Yeah, okay, let's do this. <coughs> Excuse me. Am I getting trapped? I don't think I am. No, we, we can always take the knight. Okay, I just take this pawn now. And we're looking at this. We can't take this yet. Let's temper the queen. We just have so many extra pieces. GG. Let's go. All right. We are off to 1774. That was a kind of crazy game. Happened very quickly. Let's see the review and see how we did. And maybe I'll play a game too. An 88.5. Let's go. Uh, pretty happy with that. Um, but it does look like this was a mistake. Going here with my knight. Because, I mean, this is what I assumed he was going to do. But then I was looking at this, but it does say he just has e8, and there's nothing really I can do here. We just took advantage of, of his blunder. Um, and the common idea in the Dutch is to go the queen to e8, uh, because you want to attack down this side of the board. But he just sort of got into the mode of just moving and not really thinking about what he was doing. Um, he was just playing all the logical moves in the position, the good moves. I mean, Queen E8 is one of those, but he uh, he forgot that when I moved my knight, I had a discovery. Now, in the future, I should not be playing this way. So I just want to have a quick look and see where did I go wrong? Because the knight should come to E2. Um, because he's pinning this one. So that that is the first thing. Makes a lot of sense. And then finchettoing my bishop was not the main idea here. 
we should just be getting our bishop out and going for this pawn push in the middle and playing for e4. And e4 is the pawn break you always want to play for when you're playing against the Dutch. I need to remember that. Well, GG. Let's play one more. I'm sorry you have to bear with my sickness. This guy is from Malaysia, and he's a 1762. And we get to play the Jabava again, which is quite exciting. Here, 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 here. I'm fine with this. This is, uh, this is the perk kind of setup that he's going for. And can I just kick this knight away? I don't think so, because he can kick me away. Um, should I take control of the center here? I think I should. And we'll try to get the bishop here. Okay, I was not expecting that move. So we need to take or push. Now if I take, he takes with tempo. And the D file just sort of opens up. Take, take. Let's say I take. He takes with knight, I take, take, and he won't like that. But if I take, and he takes with pawn, which is what he has to do. Then there's no pawns on the d file. Take his queen, he takes here. Then I win this pawn. So I think I go up a pawn. Okay, wait, let's calculate that one. Equal. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So I don't go up a pawn, but now his king's in the middle. <laughs> Now, I can try to hold on to this. This seems very good for me. If I go here, his, his knight's coming this way. But that's fine, because then this rook opens up. But I want to I wanna um, get my bishop here and go after this pawn, because the bishop here means it, his knights can't move. Okay, so he stopped that idea. And now we'll just get a second attacker on this pawn if he wants to swap off. Now he can take this here. Okay. So I will take that. That looks good for me. And let's put my bishop on a solid square. So, the advantage I have is my uh, my um, king is castled. That's the advantage. So here, he's going to play here. Wait, here, he plays here. We take it because we have this. I like it. Or we take here. Okay, I want to keep this pawn here. So let's say he takes, we take, we're hitting this. I mean, that seems good. 
Let's try to get my other pieces developed. Maybe a knight. And we could try to get a knight to here. Seems like a very good square. Just improve the position. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, nice. This knight has become powerful. Jumping into the position here. So check if he ticks here. It's no good. So it's, we have to tick here. And he's going to tick back with the pawn. And my knight is useless. So now I, I can't take this because his king is protecting here. So what if I go here first and he takes me? It's just no good, is it? Um, so that's why he moved his king up, which is a good move. If I play it back, he just trades it off. And I... I feel like he's doing a little better because this knight was going for a threat that doesn't quite work anymore. Maybe just trade, 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 and we go after this knight. I think that's what I'm going to do. If I go here, I'm just worried, is my knight going to be under attack? Like, can he come here? Say I go here, he comes here. And then he, he comes here after this guy, and I don't have any squares for him. Um, hmm. Maybe we could just try to double. Seems like an idea. Could also go here, but it doesn't work yet. I think I'll start with this. Now, the bishop coming back here is also protecting the knight, so maybe it's okay. <coughs> and also, this is going to take him a while to come around to even attack it, so. Now, this weakens my dark squares, which is not something I want to do. But I think it's fine for now, because we're trapping the knight. Okay, so he's protecting this guy. And we'll look at this square. Oh, I realize, I, I just realized how much time I have. I've got three minutes and he's got eight. This pawn is so annoying. So, yeah, maybe this was bad for me. I don't know. I do have this move and this move. What kind of trapping is... Here. And let's say he goes here. Here. Tick, tick, tick. Um, okay, we need to fix this piece. Let's fix him. Hmm. 
And we can never move the bishop here because then we lose the, the rook and it's checkmate in one. So I do need to be aware of that. I felt like I had a bit of an advantage and now I don't. I'm okay taking here. Can also just chuck the bishop in. And then develop the knight. Just pre-moving this because if he takes that is my only move I believe and I am a little low on time <coughs> excuse me Tick here. He's going to take with king and then we develop with check. Let's do it. Maybe we need to play up here. Let's develop on this side of the board. Because this is all just locked up. If his rook ever comes here, I'm just going to take him. I want to go here, but then my bishop's kind of trapped. So I think we have to pull back to here. And I only have a minute. Don't know what happened to my time. at this oh is my bishop trapped I think it is lads dang it this it's gonna come here oh dear here he just takes oh, this game well played to my opponent I shouldn't have done anything here I should have just moved my pawn here that's what I should have done Oops, because then I could have taken this with check and maybe come over this way. Just moving now. He just grabs this. Ah, oh dear.
Oops. Sorry, lads. Not a great uh, showing. GG. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, back down to 7066. We got a win and a loss today. 78.5. The game was basically dead even all the way until the end here. I blundered here because I blocked my bishop in. And I saw it right here. And I looked and I was like, oh, my bishop, I can't go to these squares. I can't go here because the king. And I can't go back. And I just saw it. So that was just one blunder, but no real opportunity to like win there it looks like here was my biggest opportunity and here i should have checked him and he goes c8 let's see then i take here take here and it says 93 and it looks like i'm just attacking his pawns more i needed to know when to like release all this tension here okay well you can't win them all my opponent played very well from Malaysia, and I hope you guys enjoyed both of these games today. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.